Hey, how's it going guys? This is your boy Hazed, and today we're going to be dueling a sub-rogue and a muty rogue. Basically, some people have been telling me they've been having problems with them. Of course, rogues have some insane damage at the moment, so what we're going to do is show you how to do that. Show you how to beat those guys and control the fight, so let's do this. First off with this dual wield, we're going to talk about talents. Um, basically, you know, it, it's just this normal stuff I use for dueling a rogue. It's really nothing special. You do want to be using chill blades. You can use asphyxiate, but I enjoy using chill blades more since I can have more control against rogues. Now, the big thing that you want to be using against a rogue is shifting presences because you are going to need that. Because if you sit hard frost presence against a really good really good assassination rogue he's probably going to tear your face off before you have a chance to do too much i mean you can pop tool downs to stay alive through most of it but chances are you're going to be pressured into a place you really don't want to be in so you need to be ready for that that's going to be something you need guys all right guys so today we're doing this sub rogue i was mainly aiming for muty but this guy just kind of came out of the woodworks and i was like all right dude we'll, we'll, we'll give it a go um so yeah, basically what you're going to do against the sub rogue, stay on him, hit death strikes and whatnot, play out their CC. Most of their damage is going to come from literally just like the opening, like when they first open on you and whatnot. So what you're going to have to do is D up from there and play out some of your cooldowns. You see how this guy just keeps re on me? It's basically what they're going to do over and over again when you're playing, a, or fighting a rogue, really. So what you're going to have to do is just kind of stay in on him hard, hit up those plague leeches, and make sure you D up when you're in on him. I was supposed to be blood presence most of this duel, and I never even went blood presence. Um, made the rogue do a lot more damage to me than, uh, you know, should have happened, but good duel. So how do we go about fighting a rogue, guys? What we have to do is, first off, the most important thing to do is break their openers. Break those openers. Anyways, you need to break those openers, guys. How do you do that? Well, you need to watch for what they open with. If they open with a stun, you can IBF or you can uh, desecrate it out of it and get away. Now, if they open with a silence, chances are they probably won't follow it up with a stun since so they'll try to put out more damage. So you can turn in Death Strike during that part. But if they are opening with stuns, the first thing you want to do, of course, is I'm going to use IBF right here and show you. Now, you use IBF. He opens. I'm stunned right now. IBF, jump and hit him with the chains. Turn around and hit him with that chains. Why? I am now out of his reins. He's hit in a chain so he can't move and I'm able to run and death siphon now this is going to give us control we basically just mitigated his whole burst they do they're, they're basically going to open two to three times generally in a duel and we got those three trinkets so we can mitigate each one and get that range and control everything and get in heals so if they're in close and they silence you hit those death strikes because you won't be able to do basically anything else so that's why we're going to be repping that blood presence in the beginning when they get those openers. You can switch back later on if you want to put in more pressure and whatnot. But for the most part, when they open, you do want to be in blood presence, guys, and get off those range siphons. And it is key to hit them with those chains to keep them at range while you're controlling their first mitigatable burst. So yeah, that's basically how we're going to go about this, guys. Let's jump into these duels and you guys can see firsthand how you go about this. We got us a Muty Rogue. This is mainly what we were looking for was fighting a Muty Rogue. What I'm going to do is switch into Blood Presence right off the bat. Why? Because Muty Rogues can do some crazy damage even if you manage to uh, get out of their first burst. Um, you notice how he's keeping up a lot of damage on me there? I'm going to AMS right here when he starts uh, inlaying some of his burst because a lot of his damage is nature damage, believe it or not. And that's basically going to come through our armor. So we really need to D up a bit against that when they're popping cooldowns. Now, this is where I am going to pop cooldowns, as you can see. And uh, just put in a bit more pressure here. He's going to go in for some stuns there. I'm going to get out of that. He may be able to re-stealth and go for some big burst if he... Uh, gets it off but i don't believe he'll be able to dueling me I, i'll be able to stay in on him there he goes there's the restun on the open but that's no big deal because we've still got some big cooldowns up you notice i've uh i've saved my empower rune weapon in case i get low or something like that and then just pop that thing back up there i'm basically full health he's gonna go for the blind and he's gonna run he's gonna run he's gonna try and get that re-stealth man but he's also got that capping on him hard good duel dude 